The School of Arts and Humanities is formed of three departments and we cover seven separate subject areas. The most important thing for us is about content creation and the fact that we're trying to be innovators in the subject areas where our disciplines exist. The decision to implement a film school was taken several years ago. This building itself had previously been part of the university's storage facility, so there was quite an extensive refurbishment process that had to be undertaken. And then the next phase of it was to make sure that the building internally was fully fit for purpose and to make sure that the facilities and the technology that were embedded in the studio were actually fully fit for 21st century film production. Having a space like this is absolutely invaluable, really. Not just a studio in the general sense, but a studio like this, with this extraordinary degree of flexibility. Not every student knows where their greatest strengths lie, you know, when they start university. And so having a studio space with this degree of flexibility, with this degree of capability, enables us to say to students when they start, you will try every department, every role, and to mean it. So Stuart Film Studio here at the University of Huddersfield, it was designed by Digital Garage and Ari Solutions. Uh, really creatively with the actual structure of the building. So we had extra girders built into the structure of the building, allowing us to have a lot more height for the sky hoists. If it had been a normal traditional sort of up and across, we wouldn't have got anywhere near as much headroom. The lights would have been a lot lower and we'd have been had a lot less room to use these lights in. So the way that they came up with the grid system basically suspended from an interior frame inside the building was really quite a creative solution. This studio space is about as flexible a teaching space as it's possible to conceive of in filmmaking or in any other subject area. So the way we've got the studio curtained off, we've obviously got the 300 meter square full space which we can, we can use as a single space. But the way that the system operates, it basically serpentines through the studio so that we can have three smaller zones or one small zone and a larger zone. It enables the studio to be an active, everyday, dynamic environment to an extent that you know I haven't seen before. So we've got the Ari Sky Hoist system. We've got nine of them throughout the studio, so each zone has three sky hoists. They're particularly good in the sense that the lighting grid comes down to you. There's no operating on ladders, there's no working at height. It allows us to make all the adjustments we want really easily, really quickly. It was obviously designed for a lighting rig, but we can put other things on there. So we, it allows us to be really creative with how we want to use the studio space. Lighting-wise, we've got 15 Ari Orbiters. I kind of sell them to the students as this is your go-to light for pretty much anything you need. Built-in lighting effects, pretty much any colour gel that you want. The amount of light that comes out of them as well is just insane. Alongside the Orbiters, we've got sky panels, we've got S30s, S60s and S120s. We wanted something that was truly controllable and also something that the students could intuitively interact with. And with all the solutions that we saw, the ARRI solution was by far the most effective in terms of delivering that level of usability. Film students, by temperament, by self-selection, are makers. And having this studio space to accommodate their ambitions day to day, week to week, month to month, has been absolutely invaluable. Their morale, of course, is through the roof. Um, the advancement of their skill sets are through the roof. Um, and that's because you need a space like this that's this flexible to move at the unpredictable pace of an undergraduate film student's learning process. If you don't have a space like this where you can kind of, it's not just kind of like being able to use it, but also escape into like your own space where it's not congested with all other courses. It gives you this kind of freedom for your imagination to run wild. The way the building has been designed, the way that the lighting has been installed has allowed us to do 
a myriad of projects. Music video, fashion and costume showcase, set building, digital backdrops. So to have this facility with everything that we've got really allows us to teach filmmaking and to give the students that experience of working on a soundstage, of working in this environment. Clearly film and television are going through lots of uh, changes and the nature of both the way in which films are produced but also the way in which they're consumed is changing rapidly and we need to be at the edge of that. But the main thing I think that we hope is that we get students to really enjoy their time at university and also make brilliant work.